Okay, so today we're going to talk about Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Um, this song is in C position for both of our hands. So if you remember, um, to find middle C, we look for a set of three, then a set of two, and it's one half step below. And we put our thumb there, and then we put our pinky in the same spot an octave lower. So that's where our hands are going to be. Um, something to take note of in this song especially is that our left hand has to do a reach. So sometimes in piano, we don't always just play in one position. So we have like C position or G position or F position. So lots of the times we will have to stretch within the actual position that we're in or we'll have to actually jump and move to a different position. For this song, what we're going to do is, be, is a stretch within the position. So for example, um, if we're in C position with our left hand, we can stretch, you know, depends how big your hand is, but you could stretch like up to an octave, or um, you can also stretch below an octave, you can stretch just one up or two up. Um, so that's what we mean by this stretch. So if we look in the music, um, on the second line of music, you'll see that your one finger is supposed to play in A, which we have C, D, E, F, G, A. So that's going to be here. So we have to actually stretch outside of our five finger pattern up to the A. So if you see, I'm here in the five finger pattern position, and then I'm going to stretch up to play the A. So it's not a big stretch, but it's just a little bit. And if you see, the rest of my hand's kind of just staying where it needs to be. I'm just moving one thing, and then it will come back down to where it is. So, um, yes, so we stretch up to the A. Um, and then if you see what comes right after the A is that um, the G um, is right next to it. And so what finger are we going to play the G with? That's the question. So what I would do is I would stretch up to the A. And since my two fingers ready to play the G, I'll just go ahead and play the G with my two finger. And then if you look right after that, you're going to play something with the right hand. And then we're going to play with our two finger on the F sharp. And then at that point, we're back into our normal C position. So I never fully moved my hand into the next section, but I did reach a little bit and move my fingers around, but I'm not actually moving my hand into a new position because you don't want your fingers to get all not where they're supposed to be. So let's look at that second line where it says, don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. And let's watch me play that. So I'm going to reach up to the A with my thumb, play. And then I'm going to play the G's with my two finger. And then while I play the right hand, I'm going to kind of move my hand back down to play the to get ready to play the F sharp with my two finger. And now I'm ready to go. And then you'll notice it happens only one more time um, in the same sort of situation. You just reach up to play those notes and then you bring it right back where it was supposed to be. So that's what um, this stretch is about. Now I'm going to play the whole piece and you can follow along and um, see if you can watch um, how my hands move uh, and stretch on the piano. One, two, ready, go. Reach.
you took note of when my finger reached and when it moved back down. Remember, we're never fully jumping into a new position. We're just reaching. And you can always use that time when your left hand isn't do any, doing anything, when the right hand's playing a note, to move it back to that neutral C position so your fingers are exactly where they need to be. And you know that if you follow those finger numbers, they will press down the correct notes. Hope that helps a little bit.